Greeting to all my tech heads out there in the KevTech Fi Nation. And if you're new here, welcome. In this episode, we're going to look at the current state of affairs in network security. We're going to be discussing networks as targets, reasons for network security, vectors of network attacks, data loss, and finally, we're going to talk about the anatomy of an attack. This episode is part of my series on network security. I'm Kevin here at KevTechify. Let's get this adventure started. Section one, current state of affairs. Networks are always under attack. They, they, they routinely get attacked by all sorts of different people, devices. Quick internet search for network attacks, you're gonna get a lot of articles back. One of these typically that come in the top is Kaspersky's Cyber Threat Real-Time Map. What Kaspersky does is they have all of their products and when one of their products get attacked or, or they notice something going on, they report back, this generates this real-time map. Now, this helps them decide where the attacks are coming from. They, that allows them to alert other products in their suite to give you a full defense. Network security breaches, they can disrupt e-commerce. They can take personal data. They can cost the e-commerce sites money. Cisco Talos Incident Response, they collect all of this data. They make comprehensive security and threat intelligence. The Cisco Product Security Incident Response Team, they're the ones that are responsible to go in and investigate and mitigate potential vulnerabilities inside of Cisco's products. If you like this episode on current state of affairs and you're getting value out of it, and depending upon the platform you're using, please click the like button, click that notification bell, give a five-star rating, leave a comment. Doing this supports the channel, which in turn helps me bring you more great content. Turn on notifications here to be alerted every time I release a new episode. And there's quite a few new episodes coming your way. And you can also visit my website here at kevtechify.com for all my details and how to get these episodes in video and podcast form. An attack vector is a path in which a threat actor can cause your company pain through the network. Now, it can be external and they can come from the internet. They can be internal. They can disrupt network operations. They can even create a denial of service attack. Data loss can happen at many points on your network. Email and social networking, this is the most common vector for data loss. Now, this includes instant messaging software and social media sites. Let's think about it. Somebody intercepts an email or an instant message that could be captured, then that that information could be used for accessing your network, passwords, or whatever. And most of these are not sent in encrypted. Most of them are sent in clear text. Then we have unencrypted devices. Now take a lost or stolen corporate laptop. Now it typically contains confidential information. Now, a lot of times it's probably not going to include employee personnel information, but it could have other data that's important to the company, like your sales list and your customer list, um, items you've taken a long time to build, and that's what's making your company money. If this data is not stored in an encryption algorithm, the thief can then retrieve all of that valuable confidential data. Cloud storage devices. Saving data to the cloud, it's got many benefits. However, sensitive data, it can be lost if the access to the cloud is compromised due to weak security settings. Removable media. Now, one risk here is that an employee could per perform an unauthorized transfer of data to a USB drive. Take that data outside of your company, then who knows what that data could be used for. Another risk is that a USB drive containing valuable corporate data could be lost. Another example is if a USB drive has a virus on it that could be carried into your company and plugged into one of your device computers. Hard copy. Now this is sensitive data that's been printed out onto paper, maybe put onto a CD. Now this sensitive data should be disposed of thoroughly. For example, confidential data should be shredded when it's no longer needed. Take those printed reports and shred them. 
Now you could go a step further, throw it in an acid bath, make a brick out of it and burn it. Some companies do, do think their data is that sensitive. They go to that length to do it. Now, if you don't do that, a thief could retrieve some of this data and gain some information. Finally, we have improper access control. Passwords are the first line of defense here. Stolen passwords, weak passwords, they've all been compromised and can provide an, a an actor or an attacker easy access to your data. So we have, that's why we have complex requirements for our passwords. Anatomy of an attack. Attacks can take all sorts of forms in today's world. There's lots of tools, there's lots of vectors to come at you to get access to you, your company, your data. Here's a theoretical example. A threat actor, somebody wanting to do harm to you, they could go and find the watering hole. This is the place where employees go outside of work to do something. A lot of times we use, they use social media to find interest from, that, from those interests. Then they start tracking it backwards and looking for different systems that they could get more information about those employees. Maybe it's, it's a social function they do outside of work, maybe bowling or something along that line. What they could do then is insert malware into that website. There's an iframe injection where you could do that and install some information on, on a laptop. That laptop you can then bring into work, you connect it into your network. Once you're connected into the, to the network, then you then that can go and explore the network. You can start finding out where to do. And smart and connected devices, those are the interesting ones nowadays. Think about where or, um, thermostats on your network, smart devices, maybe even like Google Home, Alexa, all of those switches and lights and those devices, they could be spots where a threat actor could put some piece of software then to scan your network. They start exploring your network, find something of value, and then lock the systems down. You could sell data to somebody who would buy it from you. Typically you sell in Bitcoin or something along that line, or just lock that system down and don't allow them access until they pay you a ransom. It was my pleasure to provide you with this wonderful episode on current state of affairs of network security. If you like this episode on current state of affairs of network security and you got value out of it, and depending upon the platform you're watching on right now, click the like button, click that notification bell, give a five-star rating, leave a comment. This all helps me bring you more great content. Please take a minute to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications. That way, every time I post a new episode, you'll get notified and there's a lot more new episodes coming your way. All my socials are in my contact information here on my website, kevtechify.com. Here's a link to the playlist for my series on network security. Here's a link to a recommended video just for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of my series on network security. Once again, I'm Kevin. This is Kev Techify. I'll see you next time for another great adventure.